a lot of my friends and a lot of people always ask me why I just don't start my own business, why I just don't, you know, create an application, a website, and then, you know, start my own business, why I don't launch my startup, because they think that I already have all the skills I want for creating an application, a website, and then start, you know, making money, huge amount of money from that. And why just don't do that? Well, they're pretty much right about the skills, but there are some other reasons that makes it a little bit challenging and difficult to do it. And in this video, basically, I want to talk about this topic that why most of the developers don't create their own application and why they don't just, you know, start their own business. And they prefer to do the daily work, you know, getting paid at the end of the month, even if the salary is not really great that much. Why they prefer to do that instead of creating their own, you know, website application, uh, their own business instead of working for some other people. And this is what I want to answer in this video. And uh, basically it's all based on my experiences and my understanding. There can be other reasons for this, but I think uh, at least this is what I felt and experienced. So uh, please keep watching the video if you want to know the answer and hit the subscribe button for the upcoming videos. Okay, before anything, let me start with the story I have. Well, basically, before becoming a web developer, during my bachelor's studies, when I was study, uh, studying electronics, I became interested in programming. And my dream uh, has been always to become a web developer because I wanted to create things. I wanted to build my own application, website, and start my own business. During that time, during my bachelor's studies, during that, those four years, I uh, always wanted to be a web developer to do this. And I thought always that if I became a web developer, I can build my own business and startup. I remember that it was around 10 or 12 years ago that during that time, it was the time that basically uh, the social network, the movie came out. It was about Facebook, how Mark Zuckerberg started Facebook. And this is a kind of movie that when you watch this, you know that it's really motivating. It makes you motivated to do, you know, programming. It makes you excited to start your own business, to create an application in a weekend, in a couple of weeks, the way that Mark Zuckerberg did it. Watch this movie and a couple of days after that, I became interested in creating Android applications. So I started learning Java and I started creating some applications, but then because of my studies and because of all the exams I had, I stopped doing that. It needed a lot of time to spend on. It's just the start for me. And then, I became more interested in programming and developing this sort of stuff. So after my master's studies, I joined a company as a junior web developer. And again, during that time, I was interested to become uh, more experienced in this area so that I can start my own application. And there were a lot of senior developers around me. I was working with a lot of more experienced web developers. And I was always asking them, why you don't just start your own business? This was my question. I was wondering always why they don't just start their own application, their business and their startup. What's wrong with them? And it took me years to understand why it was difficult for them to do that. Why, what was the reason they had during that time? Because I was young, really young, so I didn't know it. Years after years of working as a web developer and learning how to create websites, applications, and doing these sort of things, gradually I understood that creating an application, it's not really easy that much. If you want to do it perfectly, it takes time. Creating the MVP can take about a couple of weeks. But when you want to work on the details, when you want to sell your application to customers, you need to be worried about all sorts of things. What happens if the traffic goes up? What happens if somebody, you know, uh, faces a problem with the application, with this feature? You need to 
take all the possibilities into consideration. You need to think about all the bugs, all the holes regarding the application. Even if you create your whole application perfectly, this is just a beginning. And through time, when I read more, when I uh, heard more from different people, uh, I understood that creating a, an application is just a start. The last two books I've read is basically Netflix and, and The Shoe Dog, the story of Nike. So basically these two books are pretty much similar to startups in two different industries. One in tech industry and the other one in the manufacturing industry. But the stories are really similar to each other. The problems they had, the difficulties they faced, all the complexities and complications. And it was a time that I understood that uh, based on what I experienced, you know, I worked in a couple of companies and uh, I've seen a lot of people closely, a lot of managers, product managers. And through time, I started realizing that the main problem is that creating an application, this is basically, this is the key point here. Creating an application and uh, creating the website and bringing your idea into life is just 20%, 30% of the job. So if you're a web developer, if you're really senior, if you're really professional, if you can create your application in a couple of weeks, let's imagine that you can create it really completely without any problem or bug. Even in that case, you just did only 20%, 30% at maximum of the job. So see, after that time, you understand that, well, the rest 70% uh, is about something else. There are a lot of more complexities. Uh, you need to do marketing. You need to find invest investors. You need to get funding. You need to uh, make your application bigger and bigger. You need to fill the holes. You need to bring new customers. And you need to deal with all sorts of problems. And that's the point you understand that it's not about the creating the application at all. Creating the application is only 20% of the job. So even if you have the abilities and the skills, it's not enough. Don't think that if you become a senior developer, that's all. You can create application every day and you can make money every day. That's not easy. That's not the point. The other reason is that basically, maybe the main reason is that the older you get, the more conservative you become. You're no longer ready to take more risks. When you get older, you don't want to do risky moves. If you're not married, if you're single, in a couple of years, you have a plan to, you know, um, get married. You want to have children and you need to plan for your future. And you say to yourself that, well, in, in a couple of years, I want to get married. I need a house. I need a car. I need to provide my family. So. You prefer to stick with your daily life, even if the salary is not great that much. But you don't want to make mistakes. You don't want to risk everything. Now, imagine you're married, you have kids. It's much more difficult for you to um, put everything in risk and start your own business. Quit from your daily job, don't care about the salary, and just start from zero. It's really difficult. Even if you're a senior developer, the, the more senior you are, the more years you, you, you've been in the industry, so you are older and it's much more difficult for you than a younger person without any experience or background. So when you're younger, it's easier for you to take some risks. But that's basically the reason. And when you get older, you feel it, you understand it. And I didn't understand it until I you know, I got married and I moved to another country and I started uh, working in different positions. During the past years, I realized that it's much more difficult for me to start my own business. So I need to take a step really slow. And it's not possible just that I can just quit my job. It's not like that. Just let me clear one thing that getting married or having children doesn't mean that you're not going to be successful in that area, but you have a lot of responsibilities. You need to provide your family. Having a family 
can really help you to go through that time, to go through that career. My whole point is that basically starting a business um, has a lot of difficulties and complexities. So creating an application because you're a web developer is just too many percent of the job. So if you think that by becoming a senior web developer, you can just start your own uh, company and launch your own company, that's not true. I want to make it clear that this is the main reason why we see a lot of developers, good developers, senior developers around the world who are working for other people because the rest, 70 or 80 percent, is just business. You need to know business, marketing, you need to tolerate difficulties and all the problems. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing to my channel. See you. Bye.